Hi everyone. Today we are going to discuss about WAF. So WAF stands for Web Application Firewall. So first of all, let's see what web applications are. So web application is a computer program or application software running on some specific computer. So let's say we call that computer a server. Let's say we have this server. And on this server, we can have different kind of web application like banking application, student management system or ERP, or let's say we can have a Gmail simply. So let's say Gmail is a web application. And now to access that Gmail, we use our computers. That computer can be laptop, smartphone, tablet, and we call that computer a client machine. And on that client machine, we open a web browser and using that web browser and using some network or internet connection, we can access those web application which may be hosted in, in any other corner of the world. And now let's say in these web application, which are again uh, some group, uh, a group of instructions, are this a uh, computer program and uh, in that computer program, we can have some weaknesses and uh, those weaknesses or, or the vulnerabilities can be exploited by this bad guy using the same network or internet connection they may find some weaknesses here and then using those weaknesses they can exploit our system make it maybe can retrieve some information from there so now to secure our web application which are there on some server machine to secure them, we need some specific way, a specific device or a specific software. So that is known as firewall. So firewall is actually a fireproof wall to protect our network from flames. So let's say we have this wall and if there is are flames, so this wall can protect our network or, or our web application from these flames. So this flames here means there is some malicious traffic or some malicious packet with bad intention. They want to cross or they want to reach at our web application to exploit it or to destroy it, let's say. So now these web applications needs to be protected and for that we have this firewall. And now for this firewall, let's say draw it again here. So for this firewall to decide or to protect our network it should decide that if a packet is arriving or if a packet is trying to reach on this side then whether that packet should be allowed or that particular packet should be discarded so that should be dropped out so in that case this firewall needs some decision mechanism and how to make decision or this needs some training or some pattern so for that, this firewall works in uh, use uh, on the basis of different techniques or those techniques can be like uh, they can decide on the basis of source or destination address. It means if a packet arrives here at the firewall, so firewall can look at the IP address, let's say source IP address or the destination IP address. And let's say in the source IP address, if firewall sees that this packet is coming from some network which is not reliable, so in that case, this firewall can drop that packet. Maybe that uh, that firewall need not allow that packet to reach on this side. Or the firewall can also make decision on the basis of let's say source or the destination port numbers, and the firewall can also make decision on the basis of some state or the record so record means like if this machine has uh, sent some request to some other machine and as a result of that request there may be some traffic coming back so in this case firewall can maintain a state and on the basis of that state it can recognize that these packets are coming due to my own request and in this case they can allow it so this is also one of the way by which firewall can decide but this is something we have discussed in some other video but today we are discussing these types of firewall which are web application firewalls and these web application firewalls are designed specifically to protect our web application and this is done by monitoring uh, in general by monitoring the malicious http or https traffic and now if we look at the layers then these firewalls which mostly work at layer 3 and layer 4 so let's say on layer network layer and the transport layer so these types of firewall are called network firewall 
and the web application firewalls are the firewalls which generally operate at layer 4, 5 to 7. Transport layer to the application layer. Can layer. And so in general, I mean this is a rough idea. So this web, they work on these layers and their principle or the prime job is to secure our web applications from uh, different attacks. So our web application can have different weaknesses or vulnerability which have I mean which uh, we can find those commonly known vulnerability on on the website which is maintained by open web application security project you can see this here this is the website and on that website we can find the common vulnerabilities which are found in in web applications and uh, these this is actually a list of top top 10 vulnerabilities which are generally found in web application so these weaknesses can be broken access control cryptographic failure injection insecure design security misconfigurations so these all vulnerabilities can be in our particular web application and to secure our web application we need some firewall and those firewalls are known as web application firewalls or the web and I'll also put a link of uh, a, a very useful document which is there on this website so you can find the description in the description section the link to that document that will be very much helpful that what kind of products are available in the market which we can use as a web because there are different vendors which are selling out their products and then how these different uh, web or, or the web application firewall work these different techniques are also discussed in that document and uh, from that document maybe in our next video I'll discuss that how we can detect these firewalls because from ethical hack point, hacking point of view or from pen testing point of view we should also be able to detect firewall if any web server or, or any server is using particular web application uh, firewall so if we have the information about let's say web which is being used by our target machine then maybe we can design some tools or tricks by which we can evade those firewalls and maybe can attack it so this is something maybe we'll see in our next video for this this was a brief introduction about web hopefully for some of you this may be useful and thank you thank you very much hope to see you in some other video thank you